Gosh, sir, could Multiple you just... Multiple question. But you don't even know what it is yet. It's a blanket rejection. I don't need to know. I just need a ride to the airport. The Mercy Airport. Mercy doesn't have an airport. Exactly. You need a ride to the city where the airport is. So that's a yes. That's a two-hour drive. I have a business to run. You need someone with nothing to do all day. Good morning. Oh. I'm just on the way to the park. Feed the birds. Could you give me a lift? I need to pick up a friend from the airport. Ooh, an adventure. We're going to the airport, and we're going in style. Never driven in a convertible on a gravel road before. Well, I told you we were going in style. So tell me about this friend we're waiting for. Ali? Uh, we went to law school together. It's a bit shallow, self-centered. Always had a way of showing me up. I meant, what does he look like? Oh, typical Bay Street lawyer, flashy suit, $50 haircut. The point is, I've moved on. I realize there's something more to life, something spiritual, something Ali will never understand. Salam alaikum, brother Amar. Wa alaikum assalam. Ali? I'm an imam now. Funny. When you described him, I thought, short guy. of the Prophet Muhammad's daughter, peace be upon him. Fatima the Gracious. Actually, Ali, Fatima means... No, you're right. Carry on. So, who wants lemon cake? I'm trying to cut back. I'll take some. In fact, bring three pieces, because when they see mine, they're gonna want some, and I'm not the kind of a mom who shares. All right. Three slices coming up. <laughs> he has money, right? Yeah. So, uh... What made you decide to give up law and become an imam? Actually, what? I was going uh, to... Ali. I was talking to Ali. Well, I, I just want a landmark class action asbestos case against a major corporation on behalf of literally hundreds of severely wronged families, and I thought there has to be something more. There was only one slice, so I had to cut it into three. You sure my piece didn't just fall off of his? So, how long are you staying in town? Oh, I'm just in town for the day, heading to the coast. Gonna do some work with Homes for Humanity. Oh, one of those things where a team of people builds a house. I guess you could do it in teams. Well, I hope you enjoy our little town. Friends, my belief is that people are the same wherever you go, with the same aspirations and yearnings and failings. Except here, I got a white cab driver. <laughs> Your coffee? is on the house. Oh, mercy. Day 22 with the worst drought the prairies have seen since, well, last summer. <laughs> and while the good citizens of Mercy are bathing in teacups and letting their lawns die, there are those amongst us, certain scoff laws, who are going through water like it was water. Hmm. Now, I have here a list of the town's biggest water wasters. And the only non-laundromat on the list is, hold on to your turbans, Mercy Mosque. Just what are they doing with all that water? Building a hydrogen bomb? Or is it something sinister? Is the mosque building a hydrogen bomb? No, of course not. I don't understand. What other kind of bomb uses that much water? They're not building a bomb. It's probably just the voodoo. Oh where you sacrifice a chicken, everybody dances around. No, that's voodoo. This is voodoo. It's a, a washing ritual. Before we pray, Muslims have to wash each body part three times. It's like your entire religion is based on obsessive-compulsive disorder. Well, Christians have holy water. Yeah, we don't go spraying it around all over the place. Unless there's a vampire coming. I'm sure the Muslims of Mercy are very careful about how much water they use. Well, all it takes is one bad apple. And 
And this is the prayer hall. See, now this is nice. This is all you need. Oh, I'm sure your mosque in Toronto is nice. Yeah, but you lose the intimacy in a space that big. Plus, those old cathedrals don't face Mecca, so you have to pray in a corner. Well, we did, but we're having the whole building turned. Turned? Jack it up, turn it 45 degrees. It's a nightmare. But I guess you've got to use the donations for something. Yeah. We ha just got a new shoe cubby. Oh, to replace the old one out there. No, that is the new one. Oh. Yes, yeah, sir. Come meet my friend Imam Ali. He's visiting us from Toronto. Salam alaikum, brother Yasser. Alaikum salam. So you have your own mosque? We're having it turned. Just 45 degrees. Be careful of these big city contractors. They overpromise and underdeliver. Contractors are busy because their talents are rare. In a world where so many tear down, they build up. Yes. Excuse me, I must meet with the client. You're laying it on a bit thick just because he's a contractor. Oh, he's a contractor. Finally, a real imam with a beard. Everybody reads from the same Quran. Yes, but his is not the pocketbook edition. Okay, everyone, take a seat. Okay. I guess you're wondering why I asked you all here today. Actually, uh, you didn't ask us here today. We were already here, and you just walked in. You didn't even knock. Well, I was going to ask you here tomorrow today, but then you were all here today, so I'm just asking you here today today. Okay. As you know, there is a drought, and I have two words for you. Are they knock-knock? No. Green mosque. I'm not painting the mosque green. No, environmental. Low flow sinks, low flow toilets, and light timers that go out at night. I like it. We're under fire for using too much water, so let's fight fire with less water. No. Oh, Bobbert, you're just against it because I'm for it. That's one reason. And it is a good reason. It doesn't matter. I'm not putting my entire business on hold to retrofit this mosque. No, it's government funded. You'll be paid in full. Who will save the planet if not us? coming? I don't want to miss dinner. Your farewell dinner. I've been looking forward to it. Going already. And my Fatima's card is just six stamps shy of a free samosa. There's a Fatima's card? Oh, yeah. You didn't, uh... Never mind. <clears throat> Sad to see you go, buddy. Maybe I should stay another day. No, no. You gotta keep heading west to see the Rockies. Well, I don't think the Rockies are going anywhere. Roll the dice if you want to. Ah. The important thing is, uh, tonight, we dine. Yes, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. It's just Fatima's. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> salam alaikum, Sister Fatima. Wa alaikum salam. Here is a free samosa for your trip tomorrow. I guess I won't be needing this anymore. I'll take it. They are not transferable. Brother Amar, sorry to interrupt. I need spiritual guidance. Of course, Brother Babar. Thank you. Brother Ali, I need your help. They're turning our moss green. Lime green or forest green? Hey. Everything okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know they have a Fatima's card? Yeah, everybody knows that. So, everything's all right? I've had better days. You know you should talk to? Ali. He's good. Enough of Ali. I'm sick of this Ali mania! I wondered what his last name was. He's not who you think he is. I know this guy. He's an egomaniac. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Sadly, Brother Amar is correct. Hey, Ali. I was. Everything he said, I was. But I changed. And I wrote about the experience in my book. Rainbow of Change. <gasps> you wrote Rainbow of Change? I loved that book. An imam and an author. You should talk at Friday prayers this week. I can't impose further on Amar's hospitality. If we don't have a bearded imam expound upon a topical issue with Quranic citations, it will disappoint the children. Uh -oh. Hey, I'm no Grinch. The bearded imam is staying. <laughs> Bobber, 
Did you make a wrong turn, or are you ready to convert? No, no, I just have to use your bathroom. Hmm? Yes, well, as the good Lord once said to... Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 thank you very much. Bye-bye. He <laughs> said to the uh, Hittites, uh... Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Hope you don't mind. I'm getting some work done. Bill Clinton will not stop emailing me. Of course not. <laughs> no, no, feel free to use it uh, any time. Okay, the retrofits are almost finished. Our mosque is nearly green. Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't we invite the media to come and see it? Well, yeah, that's the whole point, actually. A reporter called. She's coming tomorrow. Oh, you've been scooped, Amar. Queen of Green is getting it done. The Queen of Green? I like that. Sister Ann, am I going to have to wait to read about these renovations in the paper? No, let's go. Amar, are you coming? No, no, no. I'm waiting on my emails coming in from Pope Pius II and Lou Reed. And these are the compact fluorescents. You've thought of everything. I wanted to get those motion-activated paper towel dispensers, but we couldn't afford them. I'm sure there's a special prayer for those. Hi. Does Amar seem kind of down to you? Isn't he always? No. Since we've known him, he's been quite chipper. Huh. Whenever I spend time with him, he seems unhappy. OK. This is my favorite. So we've got the whole system on a timer, so we're not wasting power in the middle of the night. What powers the timer? Save your questions until the end of the tour. Go. The whole town's hooked on Ali. And it's gonna end badly. It's gonna end badly. He seems nice enough. He's an egomaniac. Plus, he's flighty. Look how he ditched law. You ditched law? Yeah, but he was good at law. You're good at law. Whose side are you on? Sorry. Wait, the point is, he's starting to make the moves on my congregation. He does have all the moves. Acting all interested. It's not right. It's not right. This is my turf. Your turf. He's got a mosque already at home. He probably has a mosque in every town in this country. I've got to win my congregation back. Fight for them, Amar. Fight for them. I'm going to write the sermon of a lifetime. You can do it. You're Amar Rashid. The two most exciting words in Islam. Give them whatever the Muslim version of hell is. Not one bird in this neighborhood! No. Ali's going down. Why our ongoing drought is a spiritual oasis. Yes! Conclusion. It is only through our adversity that we can find. No! That's that nice beard you're working on there. Huh? Thanks. Uh, is this reporter going to be taking pictures? What you'd think. Low flow water is a hot visual. Rayan Hamoudi, Andrea Brennan from the Chronicle. Hi. So nice of you to come. Thank you. This is uh, Amar. He's our imam. I run the mosque. And this is Ali. He's an imam as well. No, it's not his mosque. It's my mosque. Mine's in Toronto. Oh, the one they're turning 90 degrees. That is so cool. It's only 45. OK, are you ready to see the first green mosque in the country? Ready. Where's your ramp? Wheelchair ramp? No, stunt ramp. I was going to light some garbage cans on fire and jump over them. You do have a wheelchair ramp, don't you? It's his mosque. I, uh... <laughs> we're gonna get you in there somehow. No need. I've already got my story. It turns out we're not up to code. It's an embarrassment. At least you didn't look in the basement. Why? What's in the basement? Nothing. Can't you just build us a ramp? Look, if I build you a ramp, every mosque in town is gonna want one. Brother Yasser, we're not asking you to build the ramp. Just provide materials and labor. I like... Others tear down. You build up. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Wow. You're good. 
This drought is one of the ways that Allah tests us as a community. There are many kinds of drought. The drought of compassion, the drought of ideas, the drought of faith. Yes, you are so in the zone right now. Save me a spot at the service. You know it. Holy cow, I made it. This is an outrage. What is the moss doing about this ramp? Building a ramp? Seems reasonable. What should I wear to the ribbon cutting? Well, they're not having a ribbon cutting. No ribbon cutting? This is an outrage. Fine, I'll organize a ribbon cutting. Nothing on Thursday. I'm opening a laundromat. This drought is a spiritual oasis. I'll warm them up for you. Take your best shot. I'm ready. Seriously, just let it fly up there. It's not a competition. It certainly isn't. Now bring it. And with that, time for solemnity. Little mosque with the big heart. I will not take too much time, as this minbar belongs to this mosque's true spiritual leader, Imam Imar. I only want to say one thing. Allah challenges us to inspire the kind of brotherhood and sisterhood that I have witnessed this week. So rather than dwell on the drought, let us look beyond it and never mention it again. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. The spirit of Imam Ali's message is inspiring. But the drought we face is a reality. We're in the middle of it. Right now. say, why build a ramp when the town has no Muslims in wheelchairs? Well, maybe the town has no Muslims in wheelchairs because there was no ramp. What's going on? They're opening the ramp. Today? Yeah, you said it would be ready. Rain and fresh concrete. Should be fine. And now, your Imam, Amar Rashid. Keep it quick, sweetie. Scissors are heavy. Actually, uh, I'd like to say a few words first. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, what are you doing? Well, I just think it's important that someone say something. And judging from your performance yesterday, you're not up to it. This isn't a good time. It's the perfect time. I dominated you in law, and now I'm dominating you in Islam. I'm the Islaminator. And you may have these hicks fooled, but I know the truth. I think they can hear you. That a heck with this. I spent too much time here anyway. You're a rinky-dink town with a rinky-dink mosque and a rinky-dinky mom. Ah. Uh, we got big scissors. What an ahmuk he turned out to be. How could such cruel words come out of such a beautiful beard? People, please, let's not let that bit of ugliness ruin our day. The important thing is, today, we become a mosque for all people. Yes. 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 Well, it looks like Amar's got his groove back. Yeah, I have to go. After you. Be out of this. <laughs> I've already got my story. Hey, you deserve this more.
than Annie. Wow. Ali's Fatima car. No, it is a new one. They are non-transferable. Hey, Amar. You were right about Ali. He was a total jerk. Now remember, in Islam, the good deeds outweigh the bad. Mm, come on. He fell apart like a wet wheelchair ramp. Well, I've been holding a grudge against this guy for too long. God has no mercy on those who have no mercy on others. That's the lesson I learned. I'd have thought you'd learn a lesson about testing a wheelchair ramp before letting a disabled person climb it. Good point. Thanks for the ride. Well, there's a pigeon shortage in town, so I have lots of free time. Listen, that was a very generous thing you did, making everybody think you're a jerk. <laughs> Calling them hicks. What a performance. Hey, it was all your idea. The right idea. They have to believe he's the best imam. Still, it's no fun playing the bad guy. I also get to play the good guy. I, um, left the mosque a little anonymous gift. <laughs> Allah have mercy on me. There is only one true God. <laughs> mm.